Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I want to show you a technique I found out about how to model an eye or something that is round, but also cut in holes or stuff like that with the parametric modeling tools in Cinema 4D. So I don't claim that this is the best eye model ever created on Earth, but um, the cool thing is that we can always go back and forth with this technique. So you might think that we should create a sphere or something like that, but I'm gonna go ahead and create a plane. And let me switch the shading mode. And I upper the segments to 100 each. And then I'm gonna put on a wrap deformer. And right now the axis is off, so I'm gonna switch to rotate and rotate it by 90 degrees. I'm gonna click on fit parent. And the um, thing is that we can change the wrap to spherical. And it looks like this. So if we play around with the degrees, you can already see that um, this is very interesting. If we put the latitude N to 90 degrees, we get a closed object. The same goes with the longitude start. So I put this to zero and we got a sphere, but with a hole in it. And the topology is perfect because we got rectangles, no booleans applied, everything is good. So I can, um, I can play around with the latitude start, make it smaller and bigger. This is looking good so far. So I'm gonna duplicate the plane in this case, I want to create an eye, but again, you can apply this technique to everything that is round, basically. So I used a plugin for C4D that comes for free. You can download that at labs.maxon.net. It's the parametric tools. I downloaded and installed it. So I'm gonna select the plane and go to parametric tools and click on the pi extrude generator. This is almost the same like the cloth surface. It creates an extrude, but uh, as you can see right now, we got a problem. And this is because um, we have to put the inner plane to a connect and then everything is correct. So I'm gonna scale that down. You can see this is a very interesting shape as well. Re-enable the plane, our outer plane for the eye, and uh, we get this. So next step is I'm going to duplicate the plane once more. And I want to create that little glass thing in the inner side. So I'm going to play around with those values. Disable the other object. This is what we want. And now we have a perfectly fitting object. And uh, again, this is the wireframe view. This is the cool thing about this. We can always change, go back and forth, make the hole a little bit bigger or smaller, stuff like that. So created a scene with, um, with some textures I put on. So again, I can always go inside the rep deformers and uh, change something on the fly and this is the power of parametric modeling so that's it basically i hope you like that little short tutorial if so give me a like follow me comment and uh, see you next time bye